What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today talking about the Habao Hyper Plus 2. 1.7 scale nonetheless. 4x4 monster truck. Looks pretty awesome. Uh, big shout out to my buddy Brian because he's the one that actually texted me and was like, hey, did you see the uh, Habao truck? Looks pretty sweet. And I was like, well, it was just on their website. Didn't see anything in regards to it. So I went over to their Facebook page and there you go. So I was like, all right, this thing's looking pretty awesome. I uh, like the color of it. it. Looks kind of like that Dodge Ram. It's got that cow induction look in. It's got a nice bumper that's on there. So 1.7 scale nonetheless looks good obviously four by four so yeah let me know what you guys think about that also since we do carry these so we sell habao sign up for our newsletter so go over to our website omgrc.com sign up for our newsletter so that way when we do drop this thing you guys can you know it's typically on pre-orders i don't know if it's going to be a pre-order or not but anyway uh yeah sign up for it because sometimes we'll do little deals and stuff like that too when it comes to these vehicles, just in as far as pre-orders and what have you. So anyway, uh, getting back over to this Habao here. Guys, let me know what you think about this thing, but it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and get to the... Oh, what I was going to say too is uh, since it says new arrivals, uh, because it has an S on there for plural, I would say that this thing's going to be the... It's going to have the kit version. So if you're not familiar with, you know, as far as like an, an RTR, you're new to the hobby or what have you, Typically, uh, Habao will do a kit version, which you're going to need to get your own electronics. And then also, you'll need to paint it. Plus, you'll need some CA glue to mount up those tires and what have you, plus batteries, chargers. So if you're new to it, sometimes that's probably not the best way to go. You can do the RTR, basically what you see here in front of you, where it's going to have the electronics in it. I don't think it's going to come with any batteries for it. So that would be something you'd have to uh, you know, purchase separately. But um, yeah, this thing looks good. And... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump, jump over to the actual picture here. This picture looks good. I uh, like the way uh, the body top looks. Like I, Again, it looks like kind of like that Dodge Ram and a nice bumper. And I'm guessing this thing's got some LEDs in it, maybe. It's hard to say on that part of it. And I was also trying to zoom up a little bit and trying to figure out like what batteries they might have in there. You guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this. But, you know, this is like a caution label here. Is this part of that? You know, it's hard to say, is that one pack? Is this like an 8S system or is this a 6S system? Is that, because this be just one big battery or are they sitting sideways, something like that? So it's hard to say what this thing is. It's got a pretty big overhead when it comes to, we can see the Velcro straps on it. So I'm kind of interested. The more I keep looking at this thing, I'm like, hmm, is it two batteries stacked on top of each other or is that just one big battery or is it sitting sideways? Or maybe this is kind of like saddle where there's like, oh, there's, 6S or, you know, 3S LiPo here, 3S LiPo on the other side, kind of like the, you know, a saddle system, uh, saddle packs, more or less, as far as how they have it set up where it's dispersed on one on each side. So that's something interesting to kind of figure out as well. So trying to get an idea. Also, one thing I'm, I was looking at the picture is the tires. Uh, you know, this is a action picture, trying to figure out, you know, Hopefully these tires don't balloon much because I can't stand tires that balloon. I know it looks cool, but it's very hard to control when your tires become little pizza cutters. So I like tires that are good. If you're going to give me pizza cutter tires, don't give me tires at all. So uh, that's my thing on that part of it. But the truck looks good. Definitely digging it. So yeah, uh, it's got the clear windows and everything that are on there. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I mean, obviously independent suspension, all that good fun stuff that's on there. I would kind of guess it's going to be aluminum plate chassis unless they come out with a plastic one but just based on this here too there's nothing typically the plastic ones have they kind of go up and you wouldn't be able to see the this part of it as far as where the you know as far as the velcro straps and everything they would have um, walls on the side of them so i would go with typically uh habao will do aluminum chassis so i wouldn't think they were going to deviate away from aluminum chassis they're going to keep that aluminum chassis going anyhow so that's my that would, yeah it looks looks good so Anyway, this is, uh, yeah, just kind of like kind of a preview more or less to see, you know, what they're going to be bringing. So stay tuned for more because once I get more information, I'll definitely let you guys know. But until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this thing. This thing looks pretty cool. So if you guys are on board for something like this or not. But anyway, until next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching.